Hey you guys, it's gonna be a busy week. I have a ketamine infusion tomorrow and right now I'm on my way to get blood drawn from my endocrinologist to check my thyroid, to check for like all my levels of like vitamin D and yada yada yada. I don't really know what it's called. I don't know if it's like a full panel, but they check like liver functions, kidney functions, calcium levels, like all that kind of stuff. So I finally have a therapy appointment this week. So I got my infusion on Monday. Tuesday I have marked rest, then I see Christine on Wednesday, and then my thyroid appointment is on Thursday. My infusion's not tomorrow, guys, it's Monday. I screwed that all up. I'm always off by a day, or by the number one. If I give you a number, just assume it's either one higher or one lower. <laughs> so I was gonna say, <laughs> that was so cute by the way, um, I got my blood drawn and it was tricky because I guess I have a rolling vein so like she was like this with the like almost like I was getting liposuction in my elbow. It didn't hurt while she was doing it but I'm starting to feel it now. <laughs> when I left she's like you're probably gonna have a little bruise there. I'm like I know I'm sorry. And I was apologizing to her and yelling at my veins like cooperate. <laughs> SOB. I don't know. I don't know. I felt bad because it's Saturday and like they're never open on Saturday and praise God they're open today because there was no other time we could have fit this blood draw in and my appointment is on Thursday so so yeah I felt bad for the tech she just looked miserable and like she was not happy to be there but I think I was able to cheer her up a little bit just kind of like tell when people aren't feeling right or whatever and I was just talking to her and making her laugh and talking to my veins that made her laugh so it actually ended up being kind of fun <laughs> I think we're going to Ocean State Job lot right now, if I'm not mistaken. Going to the pet place first, then the pet place Dunkin first, Donuts, then, Ocean State. then Duncan, then Ocean State. What are we getting at PetSmart? If you didn't catch that at the top there, it's a little kitty playing with a laser. I couldn't figure out how to spell laser, and I'm a pretty good speller. I'm like, why can't I get this right? So I came up with L A S E R, and then there was that cute little laser, and then I found the cute kitty playing. So I typed in kitty kitty playing and I just think it's so cute how it came out oh my god is that my freaking landlord Ugh, I wanted to show you but it's not him it's not him anyhow ugh, I'm so frustrated and over our landlord oh my goodness god bless him though here's my haul okay this is from Ocean State Job Lot got some chamomile tea um hard candy mascara I've I've never heard of this one before but it's cruelty free and or vegan I'm pretty sure it's vegan Sonia Kashik is cruelty Sonia Kashik is cruelty free and I got this black eyeliner. It's supposed to be long wearing. Got a pair of warm socks for my ketamine infusion. A mask to wear because the one that I have is too heavy and kind of like way, uh, way too tight. So this one has an adjustable strap. It's new. It should last me a while. And then we needed a new calendar because obviously it's December or it's about to be December and then we're going to not have a calendar. So everything's real. Oh, I also got this, I forgot to mention this, um, Milani Black Gold Foil Eyeliner. It's a powder, so I guess you wet this little brush here and then you can use it as an eyeliner. So I really love Milani and I'm so glad that my Ocean State Job Lot carries these things because um, if I were to buy this in the store, it would be a lot more, all of this stuff would be so much more money and I'm just so happy for Ocean State Job Lot. They had some stuff, I look wrecked. They had some stuff from Flower Beauty in there and I, I couldn't decide and I was able to swatch one of the lipsticks because it was open and it smelled weird. So I was like, oh, I probably am not gonna try that. But it was really cheap. They had eyeshadow palettes. They had lipsticks, lip balms, like or lip butters, um, eyeshadow palettes face like CC cream or BB cream or whatever and none of the colors look like they match so that's kind of a problem that you can run into at Ocean State but um the lipstick that I swatched looked really amazing it was a color called tea rose and it's it stained my skin so even if you wear it like if maybe it was fresher like stuff here is probably not as fresh as it would be somewhere else but it's still packaged tightly but this one um was open and it smelled really funny but I was pleasantly surprised that it left a stain on my skin because that means it's very long wearing and it was just the regular like regular lipsticks. I don't really know much about the the line except 
that I think it's vegan, but it's definitely cruelty free. I feel like her whole line is vegan. Oh, and you guys, there's a new brand at Walmart called Moira, and it's so affordable. And I've been watching this lady like swatch all this. Her name is Allura Beauty, A-L-L-U-R-A Beauty. And she does live swatches of like all different types of brands. But there's this brand at Walmart and it's so cheap. You can get like full face palettes and with eyeshadows and face it looks really good and I'm just wondering if anybody out there <laughs> has tried Moira cosmetics and especially if you have sensitive eyes I'm wondering like if it would hurt my eyes or not but the good thing is it's super affordable like super affordable so I think I'm gonna ask somebody probably my mom maybe to get me a Moira face and eye kit palette thing for Christmas because it looks really good and the colors are like the new Urban Decay like cherry palette and it looks really good it looks really good with um, green eyes. So if I don't end up getting the Urban Decay palette, which I probably won't because it's super freaking expensive, it looks so gorgeous. And it would be like my everyday type palette because of my, my eye color, but yeah. We're home now. I've changed head buffs. I'm starting to break out. It's PMS. PMS. Um, I took my make. I tried some of the makeup on. It did irritate my eyes a little, but it might be more of the makeup wipe that irritated. So we're just gonna sit and try to find something to watch. Marshall brought up the Christmas box. If it has our Christmas movies in it, we might watch something from there or we might just continue watching Grey's Anatomy because we've started the whole thing all over if I didn't mention that before. I'm so tired, you guys. I have not gotten good sleep in the last couple nights. Um, I've been worried about my cat, but he's I'm sure he's fine, but you know me, I'm, because we lost the other one. I don't like to say it in front of the cat. Because I feel like every time I mention him and or like if I cry about anything, the cat gets really upset. So it's like I don't want to upset him and he knows when I talk about him. So especially when I say his name because I don't, you know, he doesn't hear it anymore. I'm getting off track. The whole point is, is I, the night before last, I stayed up and couldn't sleep because I was worried about him. I thought he was having his like asthma attacks and, you know, he's been having tummy issues because of the morning and, um... Did I ever tell you guys that we had him cremated? I think I must have. There's this box and I put some catnip on top. It's a cat cookie. Well, there's a bag, but his favorite thing, like a tennis ball. He loved the smell of rubber and and um, a, a milk tie or a twist tie like from bread. And then there's like a little toy that was his that we found the other day. I burst into tears when we found it. See that fuzzy red thing on top of the red box? So he's in there. Ah, ah. So when I'm ready, we'll put a picture in it because it's a picture frame box, and then we'll turn it around and stuff. And but it's it's been almost six months. Next month, at the end of the month, it'll be six months. Also, this year is hard for me too because like I always say Christmas in a certain voice to him. I used to say it to him, and he would respond to it. He was a very very intelligent cat, and um, oh, I miss him so much. It hurts like I can't breathe. I guess today's story is a mix of everything, but um, I'm going to stop rambling now because I'd like to spend some time with my husband, and I'm sure he'd like me to get off the phone. <laughs> He's on his phone. We need to lighten the mood in this house. Ah, the Death Star. This will keep the death away. That cup is so awesome, and it keeps the um, the coffee really nice and hot.